Hi everyone, welcome to the video and today we are going to discuss how Tesla will have a smooth ride heading into 2021. Also, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are subscribed. If you like this kind of video, I upload 2 or 3 times a week, so consider subscribing to be notified on future videos. It's a big day for Tesla. Tesla starting to trade in the S&P. Its market cap over 600 billion. That makes it the sixth largest company in the S&P. For more on this, we want to bring in Craig Irwin. He's a Roth Capital analyst. And Craig, great to have you on the show. Let's just start with Tesla's performance so far today. We have shares off just around 5% right now. So we're under a bit of pressure. Just what do you think today as it heads into the S&P and what this means for Tesla going forward? So obviously the buy side is treating this as a negative catalyst and all the funds, uh, the index funds that have the opportunity to accumulate in advance of an index edition have basically done so. So uh, many of the funds will be um, on the sidelines waiting uh, probably as long as they can to, to accumulate the rest of the shares they have to. Some of them have a month, some of them have a full quarter. Um, and yeah, it's $80 billion gross in, in buying, but uh, you know, this is, the catalyst is over. I have to disagree on this one by Craig. Him saying the catalyst is over because Tesla joined the S&P 500? Tesla's just getting started regardless of Tesla joins the S&P 500 or not. Um, and now we have to look back to, is Tesla actually executing? You know, it's being valued as a, um, I'm, I'm thinking teleportation company, but really autonomous company, full self-driving company. And, uh, you know, are they really executing there? If you look at the videos online from the different users in the betas, I wouldn't say so. I think it's very buggy. I don't know what videos he's watching, but I've watched a lot of FSD beta, and the software is really great driving cars. If there is a buggy video of Tesla FSD, please put in the comments below. So I would agree with the last guess that we, we probably have a bumpy ride in 2021. He said it's going to be a bumpy ride in 2021. With Giga Berlin and Giga Texas coming this year, which means lots of cars will be made and to be delivered, I'd say it will going to be a smooth ride in 2021. If we are to go back on December of 2019, flashback. We see this nice record number here, but it looks like you don't think this is going to last. What do you think of Tesla? Yeah, so it's a tough day to be a bear with the stock at, uh, at new highs, right? <laughs> but the reality is, you know, Traders traded, Tesla's trading on hopes and dreams right now. And, you know, I'm not a weather vane, I'm an analyst. My job is to break out the calculator. We're going to see decelerating growth. Um, the expectations from the bulls around China are far too high. And, uh, you know, competition is coming that's real. So, yes, China's going to be a great market for them. But I think the number for 2020 is more like 50,000 units, not 150,000 units. And I think that things are getting pretty frothy up here. It really does deserve to be a $250 stock. This was December 2019. Giga Shanghai is almost finished. Who in their right mind predicts that Giga Shanghai will only produce 50,000 cars for the whole year? I think he assumes they will only produce 1,000 cars per week, and that's where he got his number. This guy's calculator is broken. Somebody give him a new one, a working one. And the actual delivery by Giga Shanghai in 2020 is 148,000 cars. His prediction is way, way off. He also predicts Tesla is a $50 stock in 2020. And what happened in 2020? Tesla stock is way, way high. That's why they made a split. As you can see, Greg Irwin's prediction on Tesla is way off last year. And it will be definitely way off this year as well. That's it for today, guys. If you don't want to miss more Craig Irwin's prediction, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Thanks and have a good one.